What's up guys, welcome back to Brook Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your ramen in nine different ways. Three chicken, three beef, three shrimp. These first three recipes are super simple and only require a few quick ingredients that really make a difference in the final dish. Just start by making the ramen the way you normally would. Add your water, let it boil, add your ramen, and then your flavor pack. Add your egg directly into the ramen, and then scramble it right in the pot. For this next recipe, all you need is three ingredients you can probably already find in your kitchen. Make the ramen the way you normally would, but this time add half the lime while it's cooking. Last, add your green onions, sriracha, and the other wedge of lime. Just as with the other two, we're going to start off by cooking the shrimp ramen like we normally would. And just as before, we're going to crack our egg in the ramen and cook it with the boiling water. For these next three ramens, we're going to replace one cup of water and the flavor packet with either one cup of chicken, beef, or seafood stock. This is going to add a lot of flavor while still keeping the recipe super simple. From now on, we're going to start soft boiling our eggs. For this, just bring a pot of water to boil, cover, and cook your egg for six and a half minutes. Make sure to have a bowl of ice water on standby so you can peel your egg as soon as possible. Now that we don't have any flavor packets, we need to add some soy sauce to make up for the lack of salt. We're gonna top our ramen with some julienne carrots. For this, just cut your carrot into a square, Cut the square into slices, and then cut the slices into matchsticks. Any of the toppings big enough to hold in your hand should be placed on the side of the bowl facing towards the center. Add half the lemon, half the black pepper, and half the green onions to your broth to really infuse your noodles. Add the other half of the lemon, green onion, and black pepper to add some color to the dish. For the final three recipes, we're going to use the actual meats that come with the flavor of the ramen, as well as their respective stocks. This will not only add flavor to the dish, it will also make it much more filling. Make sure when your chicken is done cooking, you slice it thin to put in the bowl. Marinating your steak in this simple teriyaki sauce will really bump up the flavor. Just as before, add half your green onions before the noodles so you get even more flavor. It's super important to slice your steak thin here as it won't be as tender if you don't. Slice thin pieces of your onion so it won't overpower since it's going to be served raw. Shrimp cooks quickly, so we can use butter here instead of oil which will give it a really rich flavor. 